Last month, we've seen our fair share of winter weather and to combat the snowy conditions, thousands of tons of salt have been used to keep the road safe for drivers. Now, while the process does help clear the roads, the state's lakes and rivers are getting saltier. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live with a look at the impacts that salt is having on everything from our drinking water to the water we use in our gardens. Matt. Yeah, Keenan, it's not even just the road salt. Think about it. It's our driveways too. We've been using salt for so long. Let's face it. A lot of us probably can't stop using it, but the reality is we might need to. It was brutal earlier. This week's snow has been rough. Salt, like for many of us, is Bruce Higgins' go-to. We have contractors who do the lots, and you know, my coworker and I, we work on cleaning the sidewalks. And while you might shrug and say, what's a little salt? Well, it all adds up. In fact, the salt we put on our roads is wreaking havoc on the water that in Michigan is never too far off. You have really close proximity to the road. As Marie McCormick explains, this branch of the River Rouge in Southfield looks fine. But like many lakes and rivers, if you put it under a microscope, you'd find it saltier now than ever before. It runs off really quickly. So if you drop salt really close to these bodies of water, it flows into the river and actually it changes the chemistry of the water. Something that studies say long term will affect more than this water, but what comes out of our tap? What do you guys do these days that's different from before? You know, we try to find a balance nowadays because uh, you know, there is a concern about the environment. This stuff is no secret to the guys in Macomb County tasked with keeping roads safe. So why so much salt? At the end of the day, that balance matters. So they do what they can. Computer systems to monitor how much salt hits the road, pre-wetting it so it doesn't bounce far from the intended target. We didn't have that back in the day. But they still need to keep roads safe, which means even if we use far less, every bit counts. So Matt, what are some of the things we can do to cut back on our own salt use? Well, certainly a lot less salt and a lot more muscle. Uh, if you can do less salt and start shoveling a little bit more, that's going to help you first and foremost. But it's not just the fact that using salt is bad, but keep in mind, below temperatures of 15 degrees, this stuff often doesn't work. And whether you use a lot of it or a little, it's going to do a lot of the same stuff. Recommended to use things that'll give you traction, stuff as simple as kitty litter, and it's a whole lot cheaper. We're giving you more ideas over online after the show at WXYZ.com. All right, thank you very much, Matt Smith, giving us a lot to think about because it's Michigan, there's a whole lot of winter left. Thanks, oh, Matt. Yeah.